Hey everybody, so I got a few requests to do a video on how I look for items on Shop Goodwill. So I'm going to do a screen share and talk you guys through how I look and what I'm looking for. So I hope you guys like it. I hope it helps you learn a little bit. And if you haven't watched yet, my name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. I am a full-time nurse, part-time reseller, and I'm making these videos to help you guys hopefully learn more about sourcing and what to get to resell to grow your business. So thanks for watching. All right, guys, so I am on shopgoodwill.com. I'm just going to type in lot. Um, I don't put anything specific unless something pops in my head, but for this little tutorial, I'm just going to show you basics. So I'm searching for lot and I'm just going to scroll and see what I see. So if you see here on the left, there's a mystery lot of women's clothing. I don't do much clothing with the exception of the QVC palette that I got. So that doesn't interest me. Same with the records. So a lot of this is going to be dependent on what you like to sell and what your knowledge base is. So I'm going to keep looking and just see if anything catches my eye here. And here's some glass and Magic the Gathering cards. Once again, I don't know much about those, so I'm just going to keep scrolling here. So hats is something that I really like to buy and sell. So this is a big lot here, so I'm going to click on this and see what all's there. So there's like the Wayne's World, there's a pink Kubota hat. So just for example, so now I'm going to go over to eBay and put in pink Kubota hat. And search. Okay, so there's some here you see most are going, it looks like, for $15 to $20. I don't see any that look specifically like that one. Let's look again. So that one's gray with a pink bill. So now I'm going to go to filter, look at what has sold. So only one is sold, so that's not too great but let's let's say that these hats after I research are sell them for 10 to 15 dollars each it looks like there's probably about 20 of them here there's an O'Neill hat back there organic valley so then I'm gonna go down here to estimate shipping I'll put in my zip code get estimate so shipping on this lot is $13.69. So the bid right now is only $7.49. So even if it was $10, I've still only got $23 into 20 hats, a little over a dollar per hat. A lot of people complain about the shipping. I will tell you, when you're searching through Goodwill, not all of the Goodwills overcharge on their shipping. Like this one, it says actual weight six and they're charging 11 pounds. So it's not too high compared to some of them are much worse. So same thing, there's some comic books. So if you knew comic books, you could take a look at that. And... There's just a ton, so this takes a lot of time. I just scroll. There's some bras. And I'm just going to keep looking. So there's not many ending right now. You can see these have four hours left. It's because it's early in the morning. So at night, they will be ending every couple of minutes. And you don't really have time to look stuff up. So like now, actually... Is a good time. It's 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time right now. Look here. Some three Coach Hard Shell eyeglasses. So you can look here. See how these look. And they look like they're in okay shape. There's no bids on this. 
it ends in six hours so let's go to shipping and see how much it will cost so shipping is fourteen dollars this one is in washington on the west coast i am in florida so they're pretty far from me so the fourteen dollars plus 10 is 24 dollars so you've got eight dollars in per case if you purchase these so now i'll go on ebay and put coach hard sunglasses case so let's see so like that one's on auction for 4.95 there's one for 2.99 and there's 629 listed let's see what's sold so that one's 10.99 free shipping 11.50 free shipping so i would not buy those so i'm gonna go back and i i don't know a lot of stuff there's some stuff i will just get because i know there's something else that might be good so anything that catches <clears throat> excuse me guys anything that catches my eye so let's see so there's a wilton wilton garfield cake pan so let's go check that out over here all right so there's 233 of this wilton garfield cake pan let's see how many have sold Twenty-six, so not very many but if you look um i'm trying to find the exact one so some of her selling for five or six this one here sold for seven this one sold for 15 so let's see another one wilton troll so let's look up a troll kick pan So this one, there's not as many listed. There's only 17. Let's see if they're selling as well. Only one sold. So for $4. So let's look up a couple more. Let's see. I think that's Bert and Ernie there. Um, let's look up Big Bird Cake Pan. So lots, um, 466, let's see how many sold, only 20 have sold, so these aren't selling great, but look, that one sold for 10, 4, um, 12.50, but that's free shipping, $4, so let's say we could probably say they would average $5 a piece, and there are a total of 6, it looks like, the Winnie the Pooh one might do better. So, there's a total of six, and that would be $30. So, here, current price is $7. There is a bidder, so you would have to go up against them. But let's see what the shipping would be. So, shipping is $13.64. So, you're looking at $20 right here, and they were going to say we'll sell for $30. So, this is another one I would probably pass on there. So, the big thing with all of this is finding stuff that's worth it. So, this one here. So, I love getting sports lots. So, sorry guys, I'm getting all these notifications. Um, Here, sports mystery junk lot. Notre Dame. It says Notre Dame, but look, there's a Patriots jersey. There's Ohio State. Looks like a sweatshirt. But that trunk looks kind of cool so this lot is 36 dollars i'd say there's probably let's say there's 15 items in here so figure if you're paying 45 all in you're at 15 dollars so i'm gonna go to shipping here this is 36 pounds so it weighs a lot a lot of the big lots do weigh a lot um 
but it's only $21 to ship. So right now this is at $57 with the shipping for me. To your location, it might be something different. But let's go over to eBay and see if we can find this. No dame. Footlocker. And see if we find anything. So this is all sweatshirts. So it's not here. But let's look and sold just to be safe here. Okay, so there's nothing there, but this this case is sold somewhere. So I'm now gonna go to Worth Point and look here. So look, this one sold for $80. There's one with a few other things that sold for $150. And I love Worth Point. I do have a paid monthly membership to it because I get enough one-off items that I feel like it's a good investment for my business. So there's another one. That one only sold for $20. That was back in 2009. Okay. So there's only a few. Let's see what. Let's put trunk instead of foot locker here. hard to know exactly what everybody would call something and then I'm gonna switch this here to best match so there it is again for almost fifty dollars there's one in 2016 for 80 there's another one for 50 so that trunk is selling pretty decent um so here, yes, the shipping's $21, it's at $36, but that trunk most likely, if I were to list that trunk, I would probably list it at $150. There are no other ones on there, none have sold in the last 90 days, so you have no competition. And then you could research the jerseys here as well. So this is a lot that I would bid on, I'm not right now because I'm trying not to source but you just have to pick stuff out. So when I look at these big lots and see the shipping, I want to find at least one item that's going to pay for the whole lot, which that trunk should do depending on how high the bidding goes because this is bid up. You are going to have to kind of compete to get it. But if these jerseys are, say they're worth 25 bucks, you've got another 100 bucks in jerseys there. You've got hats that are worth at least 10. So... That is, say, $230, $240, and right now you're only at $50, $57 the shipping, so that's a lot that I would get. So if you know particular stuff, you can search for that, um, like, a lot of jewelry, but it's the same thing. There's so much on here that... I just sit when I'm not busy and scroll. Uh, I might not buy anything off Shop Goodwill for a month. And then I might buy 10 things in one week. It just depends on how much time I have. So down here you see there are 17,000 results. So basically you just have to find these bigger lots that make up for the cost of the shipping. Even if the shipping is inflated, sometimes those lots are still worth it. So I think for me, that's about it. I'm not going to go into specifics because this video is probably already 15 minutes long. If you guys have questions, pop them down in the comments for sure. And I will definitely answer you. So, All right, guys. So that video is pretty long and you don't really see too much. But searching on Goodwill is all about research. So... Say you're watching me or another reseller that does videos and you're sitting there on your phone watching YouTube, search on Shop Goodwill, um, especially if it's a high dollar item and you might find it on Shop Goodwill. I last year found a photo printer that I got for $60 with shipping and I sold it for $699 
on eBay within two weeks. It went international and I had no issues. Uh, even if it wasn't working, it would have been worth probably three to four hundred, but it was working and I made over a six hundred dollar profit. So if something pops in your mind or you see it on a video, you're like, whoa, they made a ton of money on that. Look, and while you're searching on those lots, if the lot's going high, I a lot of times will click in just to see, even though I'm not going to buy it from Shop Goodwill. And then I have that item in my head. I know, okay, this item is going to sell high. It's going to sell well because I'm going to research it on eBay, even if I'm not buying it on Shop Goodwill because that's expanding my knowledge. I'm like, oh, this thing sells for 20 bucks, and I see a lot of 100 of them. That's $2,000. So if you um, look stuff up, search, you have to expand it. <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat this morning is killing me. Um, you have to expand your knowledge base. You have to learn. You have to grow. If you want your sales to increase, your knowledge has to increase with it. So I'm not giving away my specific keywords. I do not mind showing you guys how I go through and just the thinking behind it because all of us know different things. We all have different knowledge bases and I think the goal here, at least for me, is to share with you guys so you can expand yours. I watch a lot of different YouTubers. That was a nice sound, had an eBay sale. Um, I watch a lot of different YouTubers to expand my knowledge. So I really do appreciate you guys watching. If you have specific questions, I will be glad to answer them, and if there are enough, I'll make another video. So thank you guys for watching.